This is a small stainless steel cup filled with 15 grams of sodium nitrate and 4 grams of air fluff charcoal that I got at a pet store actually. And this is a better method than I showed before. It was originally how I did it, but for the other video I tried to do it in a wider pan so everybody could see better. But I'm going to show you how I've been doing it and how I think it actually turns out to work better. This was a lamp stand actually with the gooseneck there. I jammed a hanger wire with the end of it here formed as a little holder for this cup. The next step is to take a blowtorch, propane one like this, and set it right there, and then step back. This doesn't take that long. The reaction's complete, even though that's red hot, there's no more actual chemical reactions going on. You can see how uniform that is. It's already started to cool off a little bit. Now that this is cooled down, it actually comes out really easy. And I'm gonna move it inside and put it in a beaker of water. Okay, I'm gonna add it here to this beaker of water. I've done two of them. I might as well make the most of it. Get that one in there. There we go. You can see them in there. So I'm going to boil this water until that stuff's all dissolved. Once again, as this heats up and starts to dissolve what's in those cups, it really looks like muddy water. But after filtering, things will be different. It's at a good boil right now. Normally, I leave this around 10, 15 minutes at least for it all to dissolve. So I'll pull it out and we'll take a look when that happens. It's actually been about 20 minutes now. So I'm going to take these out. I'm sure whatever's in them. That's useful has been dissolved. There we go. And I'm going to turn down the temperature here. We need to filter it next. Okay, this is cooled down enough. It's time to filter this as is typical. This is going to take some time. Fortunately, most of the crud went to the bottom so I can decant a lot of the top. It's still going to go through the filter paper. I'll be back when I'm done. The filtering's done. Here's our sodium nitrite solution. So I'm going to take off the uh, top of that right there. And we're going to pour it into a Pyrex dish and evaporate the water. Pouring our sodium nitrite solution into this large Pyrex dish again. And I'm going to turn the heat way up and we'll get rid of some of that water and scrape out the crystals. This takes a while, so I'll, I'll be back when it's done. You can see the sodium nitrite is just coming out of solution here. This is the first time I've seen the crystals form in that feather pattern. It's... um. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Because sodium nitrite forms a layer on top and then bubbles from underneath where the heat is, it pops and spurts and sends stuff all over the place. So I had to build this aluminum cage around it. Um, and uh, it helps a lot. Um, if I don't, this, this happens. You can see all those white spots there. Well, it's done. Look at all the spattering on the walls. That would have been everywhere. Now I just got to scrape it out. I've scraped off the glass and I'm going to weigh it and see what kind of yield we got. 
final yield is 12.39 grams minus the stuff that's spattered out, which is probably a small amount. Um, but this turns out to be about 41% yield, considering we started with 30 grams of sodium nitrate. The problem is there's not a lot of good literature or even videos on what a good yield is with this technique. So 41, 42%, and I'll consider that good until I find out differently. And now, and now, a message from our sponsor. Introducing Moron, a monthly subscription service. Where monthly subscription to Moron gives you black mold and insight into quagmire algorithms. Strong reasoning skills for broken and odd objects. The ability to use everyday objects to prove you are a moron. Key concepts in trying to open a bag. Intuition into core brain ramblings and flashcards are included. More flashcards are included, and even more flashcards are included. Try everything that Moron has to offer for the first 30 days for free. Just go to moron.org. That's moron.org. Put the link down in the description. For viewers of this video, Moron is offering a 20% off their annual premium subscription to the first to unsign their contract with Moron. And finally, I want to thank Moron for demonetizing this video, and I want to thank you for demonetizing Moron.